a pastor that we have called the pastor. Can I understand, help me understand one thing is that when the church vote, God has already preordained. All right, I know this is not the installation message. Amen. I don't want to touch the installation message. I just want to kind of give us a little background that when we are looking at covenantship, when we are looking at partnership, when we are looking at everything here, the Bible simply breaks down to us that he has given uh, pastors after his own heart. So if he gives us pastors after his own heart, how can we vote for the I knew the church would be quiet right there. <laughs> that's why, that's why brothers and sisters, the New Testament writer says, what shall separate me from the love of God? Not height, nor death, nor nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of God. And when you look back over your life, and you look at the experiences that God has brought you through, when you look at the things that have happened, when you look at how you could have lost your mind, or how the church Jesus. Somebody ought to just shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
The problem, brothers and sisters, the enemy has is he cannot uproot you. He cannot uproot you because he knows he stands no chance. He knows he stands no chance. He knows that, uh, that every time he tries to come in and try to do things, he knows that the people are going to pray. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's why many people think you just arrived in a place of the anointing that you're in. They want to judge you or determine who you are about what you, what they think they know from whoever, but they don't know. It took a whole lot for you to get to the place where you are now. I mean, you know, people that they can say of back and they don't do that, but they don't know the story of God. Jesus. Can you remember where you were 10 years ago? Can you remember where you were five years ago? Can you remember where you were three years ago? Some of us was towed up from the floor. Some of us was so used up that we should have been six feet under. Some of us knew out on the street corner or doing whatever it is that you was doing. And somebody should have said, I should have been locked up. I should have locked my mind a long time ago.
See, the enemy wants you to do one thing, and that is not praise God. My God. Because he knows when you leave this place of worship that God will reward your steps and put you in a whole other direction. So what if uh, you didn't get the job? So what if folks talked about you? So what if folks brought you up? So what if folks said you won't succeed? Can I tell you? Yeah. 